All right, guys, here we are today to look at how to cut out our puzzle pieces. In our project, I said that our puzzle pieces need to interlock. So what that means, again, is that you need to have some loops, and it has to be curved so that one piece locks to the other piece so that it doesn't fall apart. To make that work, you guys have to come up with a design that I approve, so make sure that I see it, and that do not draw in marker. I only drew in marker so that you could see better while I'm cutting it out. So we're going to use our scroll saws to do this. When we do it, it's, it's a challenge. It's not as easy as it was to cut out your profiles because some of you used straight lines and these need to be curved. So when I do this, I'm going to cut into my piece, do the best I can to follow my line, and work nice and slow. So I'm just going to cut out one piece and then show you so that you guys can see how I cut it out. So I'm going to hold my piece down, I'm going to turn on the machine, leave it at the speed, it should stay at about a thousand or halfway through. If you go too slow, the blade can't keep up with what you're trying to do and you'll just break the blade. So I'm going to leave it at a thousand. and move forward. So you have to push with your thumb and hold it down with your fingers. If it starts jumping around like this, it's because you're not holding it down. My cut that I made, and I, you guys can see that, tapping off my dust, I'm not going to blow it around. You can see that it interlocks, and it can be taken off either way. Right? There's a lot of sanding to do. You guys can see that here. Lots of sanding to do. Um, so at this point, we can stop the video, but I'm going to do one more cut so that you can see it. Um, so I can put this other piece off to the side. And I'm going to do the same thing as I just did. Now, the challenge with the next piece is that, obviously, it's gotten a lot smaller, right? This is why I wanted your project a certain size. If it gets too small, it makes it really difficult to cut out a puzzle piece. Um, so I'm going to turn this on and cut my second piece out. I have my other piece as well. Um, and remember, if you guys make a mistake, you're going to have to glue your pieces back together. So you'd get some glue from me, put some glue along all the edge, put it back together, let it sit overnight, and then you would have another chance to try to do it again on a different day. Um, I'll help you with these, but you guys got to let me know. Uh, and it's really up to you to make sure that you're following and staying on your line. So we have our interlocking pieces, and that's what makes a puzzle really a puzzle, right? It's those interlocking pieces.